What's going on guys? Mike Murtis, Gamer Logic here, and today we are looking at a game on the Saturn. This is Elevator Action Returns. I wanted to play the full intro and everything for this, but unfortunately, uh, the Frame Meister freaks out due to the video format changes that the Sega Saturn does when it goes to some of the video cutscenes, so let's change this up. This is one I decided to seek out after hearing uh, Jeremy Parrish talk about it on Retronauts because honestly it is a interesting game and the fact that it came out in arcades in like 1992 I want to say 92 94 uh, so in an era where the arcade scene was pretty much rapidly changing this was kind of a weird game to put out at the time but man you gotta love the music to this All right, doggy. Whoa, sweet. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. I love the original for uh, NES, as well as the arcade version. Oh no. Jump, yep. Got some great music, that's for sure. Oh no. Completed. The bomb set in the air terminal. The number of bombs is two. Cross the breeze, whatever that is. Whoa. Oh, okay. Double tapping lets you run. I was like, this character moves way too slow. Mm. 
Missile, missile. Get a data. I don't know what that means. That didn't go well. Continue. Yep. Sweet, you can actually go in the plane. actually really fun to play with two people I can imagine oh don't do that let's go for uber dude here So there you go guys, this is Elevator Action Returns. This is one I will definitely be coming back to. This is pretty fun. I gotta get someone to uh, play this one with me because it's, uh, it's a blast. The two player dynamic would really, really improve things. Oh, sure.
thanks for watching.